Hello friends, welcome to another video. This video is going to talk about conditional formatting colors and all that stuff. But this question was uh, recently posted on Reddit uh, regarding where a, a user posted the question that I have this uh, a sales um, over period by category and uh, it shows a different color in the bars of course uh, as power bi works but the same colors what was shown on the bars in the in the, in the chart there the cust the user wanted to see the same colors in the metric visuals as the background i have sold this many many times in the past but i think i never uh, thought of doing the video about this uh, but after reading that question post on Reddit, um, I feel like that uh, this is something can be helpful if I share this in a video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to we're going to look into a small data model here, a simple a sales by category and look at the out of the box behavior and then see how we can improve on it and how we can make the colors used in the chart uh, line uh, you know by uh, uh, you know line visual by category or the bar chart by category the colors what is used in those visuals that can be also applied on the matrix visual so let's get to power bi and take a look at it so here in power bi i have a very simple model where i have a a sales table and category table so i'm looking the sales by category in a bar chart and then similarly i'm looking the sales by category in a matrix video. So the fundamental question is the color used in this particular um, <clears throat> sales by category here in, in my bar chart is of course coming from template or the theme we, have, are, we are using. So if I really want a different color for each category, what I can do uh, in this case, on x-axis, we have category. If we had a date on x-axis or month or quarter or any other uh, um, so-called uh, um, column on x-axis, uh, usually what we have is we have a category on the legend as well. So here I'm going to put the category on the legend just for a second to showcase. So now what we have is now we are seeing uh, based on the theme, what we have in our Power BI report, we get the different colors in, in our uh, a, for each category. Now, if I want a similar color, like A is a blue or B is a dark blue and the orange and purple and the pink, here in the matrix visual, unfortunately, there's no way. Like if I go to colors, uh, if I go to formatting paint, sorry, and if I really want to customize how this should look like in the conditional formatting, and let's go back here, and if I go, actually pick a matrix visual, and if I really want to apply conditional formatting, what I have is I go some sales, conditional formatting, and let's say background color. I want the background color of my some sales to be the same as what is shown in the bar chart above. So if I go to the background color, what options why I have here. So either I can use the maximum and minimum values or based on the sum sales or I can use the rules uh, and I can define the colors in there uh, based on some values or I can use the field value. Um, th those are the options we have in our hand. But basically none of this uh, at this point in time, uh, I'm mean not saying none of this, but uh, there's nothing we can do out of the box that which will allow us to create the same background color for our sum sales as what is shown in the uh, visual above. So how we do this on how we can achieve this? Uh, uh, there are a few ways to do that, but the one which I prefer, I'm going to share that. First of all, uh, once you let's let's go to the bar visual here the first of all once you use the legend or multiple values uh, multiple measures in the values it does not allow you to apply your own custom uh, conditional formatting so just to show you guys that if I go to formatting pane and if I go to columns I don't have the option to apply I can change the color here if I wanted to 
but it does not allow me to use my own conditional formatting uh, logic here. And the reason why it is not letting me to do that right now because I am I'm using category on the legend. Once I remove that, and if I go to formatting pane again, and if I go to columns, and now I have the option of applying my own conditional formatting. That's the first thing. So if in this particular scenario, this because we we are using a category uh, on the x axis and we want to apply our own conditional formatting. So what we can do is, uh, what I did in this particular scenario, what I usually do, I put a, uh, in my category table, I have a color stored by each category. So just to quickly show you category table. So here, if I go to category table, I have a category and then I have a color for that particular category is um, uh, as a, with the hash and the, the hex code of the color which I wanted to use. So once I have that, the color for each category, I created a simple measure and that measure is nothing just a max of category color. And the reason why we need that to create that function because, uh, oh sorry, create that measure because when we apply the conditional formatting, we can only use measures. So now given the each category, the color what I want to use, I can come to my conditional formatting and then I can go to my field value and I can pick my color, the my measure, which is category color and then okay. So now, as you can see the this particular graph, the visual, the bar chart is showing the category, category color based on the color in my table which I want for each bar to show for each category. So now this is working. So this is what my color is for each category. The same conditional formatting, the same functionality, now I can apply on my matrix visual. So let's take a look at that. So I come to my matrix visual, I go to some sales, my measure, and I can go to conditional formatting, background color. Did I click that? So I come to, values, conditional formatting, background color. And then here, what I can simply do is again, the same thing. I go to field value and I pick the same color as category color and okay. So now my matrix visual is showing the same color what is shown in the, in the visual above the bar chart. I hope you learn one or two things out of this. So I usually, when I work with the, um, um, colors and all that stuff, uh, I usually store those colors in the table. Uh, I store the colors in a way that I can reuse those colors. But if you are using the template and templates by the, or the theme files, um, they, they can be used on the visuals like a bar chart, line chart and all stuff. But when it comes to matrix visual or the table visual, you cannot use those uh, theme colors. So you have to use the measures to conditional for conditional formatting and all the stuff. In a scenario like this, where you want to match your color with your matrix visual color or your uh, table visual color with same as the other visuals, then you, you can store the colors in a table and then you can use that for the conditional formatting and that will get you what you're looking for. I hope uh, you learned something out of it. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, do subscribe my channel. Until next video, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.